The entropy of a substance increases with increasing temperature, as you can see from the graph here, which is figure 14.5. This increase makes sense because the higher the temperature, the more energy is available, so the greater the number of ways the energy can be distributed among the molecules. But that's a qualitative description. What is the quantitative relationship between entropy and temperature? You can see from the graph that it isn't a linear relationship because the graph is a curve. Equation 14.7 gives the relationship. You can see how it's derived in box 14.1. If the substance is heated from initial temperature Ti to final temperature Tf, then the molar entropy increases from its initial value STI to its final value STF by the factor CP times the natural logarithm of T final over T initial, where CP is the molar heat capacity at constant pressure. This equation is useful because you can use it to convert the standard entropy at, say, 298 Kelvin to other temperatures. You can try this in worked example 14.3. It's important to be able to do this because standard entropies change quite rapidly with changing temperature.